Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through how you 3D model um, an impeller um, in SolidWorks. It's quite a simple little tutorial. So to get started, what I've done is I've drawn an axis on in the front and top plane and it's intersecting. And then I've drawn a sketch on the front plane as well. So the sketch on the front plane, I'll just go normal to it. Um, is a fairly simple sketch, so it's just basically um, I've started with the construction um, line box at the bottom. So there's a when I revolve it, there's a hole going through the middle of the impeller, and then we've got this solid uh, going up here. So there's a five mil box there, and then it's twenty eight mil from the back step there, and then we've got another step here of sixteen mil. Um, and then I've got another cavity here that I want to revolve, which is four mil off this face, and then another two mil, and then the heights are thirty-one fifty and twenty mil from the center as well. So I hope this sketch makes sense. Um, if you're modeling along, um, please pause the video now and just use it, use that time, and take your time to just go around the sketch and copy me. So now you've unpaused the video, uh, I'm taking you ready to revolve the shape. So this does the majority of the work for your impeller. So I'm going to exit the sketch, um, go to revolve, and I'm going to click the sketch. But because I've clicked the sketch, it's actually clicked the line I clicked as the axis of revolution, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to clear that selection, and I'm going to click the axes that I created earlier. But now, because there's multiple cavities to this sketch, it doesn't know what you want to revolve. So I'm going to go to Selected Contours, and I'm going to click the sketch. So now that's the basic shape I'm after for my impeller. So now I'm going to click on the front face. Let's go normal to it, and click Sketch. So from there, I'm going to create a centre rectangle, and I'm going to create a keyhole for the impeller. So I'm just going to go up to the to the center point of the of the shaft circle, and I'm going to make that six mil and eleven mil from the origin in height. So now this is still not fully defined because it can go anywhere around the edge of the circle. So to fully define it, what I'm going to do is uh, draw a construction line from the origin to the center point. And as you can see, it's gone black and fully defined. So now I'm just going to do a cut, extrude cut and go through all and tick it. So now I've got the basic impeller shape with a keyhole cut through the middle. So now, um, to uh, I'm, I'll, before I do the impeller blade, sorry, what I'm going to do is um the impeller holes that required so now to do that i'm just going to go to circle and this is going to be a construction circle so i'm going to do it 50 million diameter um and then just make this a construction circle if i can click on it so from there i'm going to draw a line across this circle a horizontal line from there to there make that construction as well so this so now i'm going to do six mil diameter holes intersecting with this construction issue circle and tangent to that to the construction line and we'll make it six mil in diameter so now i'm going to uh, pattern up my entities so if i go up to linear sketch pattern there's a little arrow and I'm going to do a circular ske sketch pattern. So it's asking me the parameters. So it's asking me for the point of revolution. So I'm going to click there. Clear, sorry, clear that selection. That's weird. Sorry about that. So just so if I didn't make that clear, I'll just start again. So I want to circular pattern this circle. So I'm going to go up to circular pattern. 
and then I'm going to click the centre line as the parameter. So now it's equal spacing, 360 degrees, four instances. So I want six instances, so I'll change that to a six. But now it's just doing the line, and that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is change the entities to pattern, clear that, and I'm going to click the circle. So now if I tick that, I have um, six circles that I, need, that I want to um, cut all the way through. So if I go to features again, and go to extrude cut, and go through all. So now you've got the basic shape of your impeller and all the keys and holes you need in it. It's now time to draw on the impeller blades. So to do that, if you just draw a sketch on the front plane, not sorry, front plane, on the front of your um, impeller disc, um, now, if I draw two arcs, in fact, let's draw the guidelines first. So what I'm going to do is draw another circle, 50 million diameter. Make that construction circle. And then I'm going to draw a line up from the center and make that construction line. So from here, I'm going to draw two arcs. So the first arc will just be coming round. Um, and coincident with my guide circle, and I'm going to make that a radius of 44.3.33. And then I'm going to um, offset that arc 2.5 mil, which is already in there. I'm going to just tick that. So now I've offset this arc 2.5 mil. I'm going to make sure it goes to the end of the disc. And now I'm going to just draw another arc on the bottom. In fact, I need to. What what I've done there is I've drawn the arc, and I made it coincident with the guide circle, which is wrong. So I'm going to delete that coincidence so I can extend it. I'm just going to draw an arc now on the end and make that 1.25, and then the center point of this arc here I'm going to make coincident with the guide circle that's it so from there I'm now going to draw another construction line 70 degrees from the middle from this this construction line here from the center point I'm going to make that 70 degrees and then I'm going to make the impeller blade coincident with that as well so now you have a fully defined curved impeller. And what I'm going to do is just to close the sketch off, I'm going to click here on the edge and click uh, convert entities. And I'm just going to trim it back. So go to trim entities and trim it. So now I have a line there as well. So I'm just going to tick that, exit that sketch. And now I'm going to go to features, extrude, and I'm going to extrude this impeller blade 15 mil so from there I've drawn one blade and now I'm going to go back to axis one I'm going to show it again and now I'm going to go to the drop down under linear pattern and I'm going to go circular pattern so the direction is axis one um, I, I, I want six blades on this so I'm going to go six at Equal, equally spaced around 366 and then I'm going to go to features and I'm going to select the feature boss one and tick it and there you have it how to 3d model um, a centrifugal pump or impeller blade I hope you found this video helpful if you have um, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching